Uh, my parents bought a summer house in Belmar in the late 40s, and my dad was new to the area, never surf fished before. And uh, being that he bought a house in Belmar, people said you should take up surf fishing. We live four blocks from the ocean, and it would be a good opportunity to you know learn how to surf fish. This is his first rod, it's a Calcutta rod, and I ended up catching my first striped bass with this uh, in the early 50s, I was seven years old, and I caught like a seven pounder, and I was hooked for life. A couple years later, my dad taught me how to tie on the calico crab, and I was tying on one, and made my own cast, and ended up catching a 28 pound striped bass, which my grandmother had mounted. And at that time, it cost $60 to mount that fish. I have it in my furniture store. There's nothing like casting a lure over the surf, prospecting and seeing a strike, fighting that fish, walking through the water possibly, using the waves to help you a little bit. It's a challenge. Every day it's a, uh, it could be different almost, but it's, uh, it's a special feeling. I've been doing this for over, now over 60 years, and it's, you know, it's like crazy that you can say something like that. I'm fortunate enough to live in Ocean County. I live 10 minutes from the ocean and about 15, 20 minutes to Island Beach State Park, and uh, I call it a fisherman's paradise. The four-wheel drive access is key. Being mobile is awesome because uh, you can chase the fish sometimes. A lot of times we're just riding and looking for activity and bird play. But the scenery is awesome. You got sand dunes, it's all natural. It's a natural barrier, which is rare along the New Jersey coastline. There's not a lot of places like this. Well, what I'm looking for, you got a sandbar to our left and you got another one up a little ways, but there's a pretty vast area here to, to work a plug. A little deeper water. When I moved down to Tom's River in 1970, I fell in love with Island Beach State Park. And in the 70s, uh, it, was, it was mainly light tackle, uh, and they were building the Barnicots uh, North Jetty. And I was a jetty jockey from the Monmouth County area. And in the 80s and 90s, uh, it was mainly the jetty was the hot spot. This past like 10, 15 years, we've had these tremendous bunker runs in the spring. And these big striped bass have been coming you know, up the coast and fish from 25 to even close to you know 40 and 50 pounders are taken every spring. I started guiding uh, with Short Catch Guide Service about 15 years ago. I was partners with Jim Frieda and Captain Gene Quigley. I don't do a million trips, but it's a rewarding type of a job. If you want to call it a job, you're actually fishing and fishing through somebody. It's, you're teaching them. Over time, uh, I've been in situations, uh, surf fishing situations that were super memorable. And then I had a young kid with me, uh, he was like 18 years old, and we're catching small bluefish. And we were snagging bunkers, and uh, I put a few in my coolers, maybe to chunk them or use a bunker head. We fished for like four or five hours, and I told him, I said, listen, if you want to hang out the rest of the day, I'm off. You could stay with me all day long and we'll fish. He goes, oh, I'd love to do that. Thank you so much. I went to my cooler, I took a bunker head out, put it on one of my rods, flipped it out. With that, I get a tremendous hit, set up, and I'm fighting this fish. Drags me about 100 yards down the beach, and I got my first 50, 51 pounds, 12 ounces. Another enlightening experience on Island Beach State Park, and memories that last forever. Chunks, that's what, when I get old, I'm going to bait fish. <laughs>